I've been waiting for you. Let's do the verification test already. I will surely figure out your trick. Oh, cool. Let's hang out. <laughs> oh, I was just about to do a reading for a client, so please stay and watch. All right. Good evening. Oh, hello there, Mifune-sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. By the way, um, who is this boy? Oh, you needn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, just look how fluffy his hair is. <laughs> yes, I am the fluffy one. I am he that has the fluff. Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman, even though he's a guy? Huh, <sighs> something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Oof. <laughs> I take that to mean something else has happened with your job? Yes, a male coworker of mine was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. And do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. How terrible. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a foothold in the market though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the tarot. Show us the truth, O oh divine power. Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm, the cards have appeared in reverse. Is this? In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. No, what should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Um. Uh, yeah. Change your boss's heart. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. As such, I would suggest you think of something else. I have the power to curse you permanently, you know. <laughs> uh, encourage her. What? What? It's a little idealistic to expect that this will actually work. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Hurrah! Fight the power! Oh god, I'm already regretting this. Touch the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Row, row, fight the power. I have to do this. Um... You know we're talking about her business success, right? This has nothing to do with the power. Reconsider your answer. Uh, hurrah! <laughs> eee! Th that's not encouraging. That's just aggressive. Please reconsider your answer. Ah, yes! Yes! Choice in a video game! <sighs> Don't be so irresponsible. That's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquated industry. My mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off on my own private business venture. And even if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, Mifune-sensei. What? Huh? Mm. You're far too irresponsible, Karimu-san. Her misfortune has already been made clear. The cards will surely back me up on that. It seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are, are you, are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, that has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute, that is how that is how it must be. Mmm, you're so stubborn. But, but if it's really possible to alter fate, nobody would ever buy these holy stones. A anyway, uh, you've changed the flow of destiny twice now, both times coming before my very eyes. That'd be helpful. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. Okay, you can sense her motivation. We got no points there, though. Damn. All right. 
damn. You'll come back again soon, right? Uh, promise me. Goodbye. Hmm. Well, that's enough for today. Good night. Should have told her to keep an open mind. Yeah, probably. Hi, is this Karimu-san? I'm just not convinced about what happened today. So I'm going to get right to my question. You're currently standing right in front of your house, correct? Uh... Of course I am. See, that's exactly what my reading told me. Fate is absolute after all. If everyone could reverse their fate as easily as flipping a table, life would be easy. Uh, this, this is why I believe I need to conduct these verifications with you. So please promise me you'll stop by my booth again. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Today is the first day of your final exams. Begin. If angle C is 28 degrees, angle A and D are 88 degrees, what is the angle of B and E? We know that it all has to total 180 degrees. So it's just a little math here then. So that means that's 116. So it should be 64. Yeah, 64, yep. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Cool, cool. Let's see, an essay question. Oh God, I hate these. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Oh no. Explain the origin of Baoji. Ugh, Baoji, in this hot weather? Well, never mind. I think this came up in class. They were invented by that famous guy from Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? Uh, the Goemon guy? Oh, um, yeah, uh, Zhuge Liang. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the strategist of Shu. I think the story was about a river overflowing somewhere Zhuge Liang visited, and they were offering something to quell the river. Uh, barbarians' heads, yeah. Oh, this was the dumpling thing. This is the dumpling thing. That's it, a crazy story. And that's how he came up with the Baoji, right? This master strategist came up with the Baoji to... Oh no. It has to be the top one. It has to be the top one. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. The Baoji were invented as an offering to a river spirit to replace the tradition of offering severed heads. Yep. You finished in time. All right, day one complete. Give it up. Time is up. Hmm, give up already. Oh, God. Now everyone. This is the second day of finals. You may begin. Write the name and genus of this organism. Uh, this is the big crab one, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Red King Crab, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. What happened when the government issued paper and hard currencies in Japan for the first time? Um, uh, shoot, it wasn't this one. It's either the first one or the third one. Damn it, it was one of these two. One or three, shit. Uh, I think it's the third one. I think it's the third one. Ooh, oh, okay, this. God. Okay. So far, so good. Let's get started. Today is the third day of finals. Are you ready? Then you may begin. What is the English equivalent of the Norwegian idiom "raining witches"? Hey, raining cats and dogs. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Ooh, we can do this. We got it. Which of the following is another name for the somen noodles traditionally eaten on Tanabata? Oh, we just did this. Um, shoot, I think it was Demon Guts. Yeah, it's not Sorry Canal, it's not Orihime Silk. It's Demon Heart, Demon Guts. I think it's Demon Guts. Ooh, we can oh, do okay, okay, God. Okay, shit. Today's the last day of exams, huh? Oh, so it's just a knowledge test, cool. You've seen all these before. You've got this, all right? Nice. This is looking good. Looking forward to seeing your score. Hell yeah. My parents are gonna kill me. I think we aced it. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. Couldn't be me. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Ooh. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? Yoshizi. I heard the school moved her exam period. Maruki! 
It must be nice getting perks like that. This is a cool scene. We having a character come up while other characters in the background are talking. That's that's kind of sick. Hey there. Hey, hey. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Yeah. Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? Oh shit. There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Uh, is this gonna take my time? I'm absolutely gonna do this, but scripted? Okay, okay, cool. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. Aw, what a sweetie. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. Oh, summertime. Beach episode incoming? I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. AC is expensive, yeah. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Mm hmm Do you need counseling? Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Yeah. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. Okay. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Oh, this is about Makoto. Or Makoto, yeah. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. Or it's Yoshi Z. Either one, yeah. So... What do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? Hmm. I think they'll be disappointed, yeah. Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. True. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Hmm. Yeah. You just have to keep trying. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. <coughs> Don't worry. Okay, good, good. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. Aww. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. All right. This is just a thought, but... Oh! What if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Oh, shit. Is that really a change of heart? <laughs> Good point. Okay. Yeah. Changing your cognition is something you can do with discipline and repetition, so... Uh, hmm. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. Yeah, I can see where you would uh, you would get excited about this Maruki, yeah. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Hmm. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. All right. And enjoy your vacation. Hmm. Maruki's Things so interesting. Finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Hmm. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. Ryuji's too self-aware. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. True. <sighs> And I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever. It's gonna be rough. It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thief's popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? Yep. It kind of feels like our time's finally here. I have even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. You will have to choose carefully. People are gonna offer up targets to you, and you're gonna have to turn some people down. There's 
There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Yeah. Hold up. The most important thing now is our celebration. <coughs> true, true. I hope you guys didn't forget. Mm -hmm. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. Yeah, let's go. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. Sweet. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Absolutely. It's important. Now for the weather. It seems we'll continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all through next week. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden changes for in the weather. Hey, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about that summer festival. You remember the one I told you about? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let me sleep. Come on, man. Well, I know so, damn it. Come on, the whole thing with the kebabs. So, like... I completely spaced on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So you wanna go? I mean... We gotta. But it's a Sunday. But we gotta. It's Ryuji, though. That is true. I believe Ryuji also wasn't ready to level up. So, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Hell yeah, I knew you'd be down. Let's make sure we invite Yusuke, too. He's always down to chow. Oh, hell yeah, Yusuke as well. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow, though. Yeah, whatever. No way is it gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. <sighs> How would he know whether or not it'll rain? We just saw the TV, Mona. Holy shit. Sheesh, all worked up over a silly little festival full of food, of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself, but be sure to keep a low profile, all right? Let's turn in for the night. All right. Oh, and uh, no sleeping in, got it? I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. It's bright and What's sunny! That? Heat wave! Let's go! Mm. Why? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Yusuke is just preparing himself for the mental exhaustion that is your presence, Ryuji. Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. Yusuke is the kind of person is just like, can you like turn down all of this? Like just just turn it down like three notches, please. A favor? Sure. You need some money for food or something? Not this time. Oh. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. <gasps> Showtime! And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Showtime! Oh, a new move? Yes! That sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea. Oh my at this god. Point, but. What do you think? Yes. Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? <laughs> huh. I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty <coughs> to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Oh my god, yes. Sick! So, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? Yeah. We should consult Jose about this soon. Okay. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Uh, same here. This is new for Royal? Okay, sick. Oh, yes! So hot. hot and hot fried food. Yes. All right. The American in me is very happy right now. You can tell that the food is also super overpriced as well. Oh, my gosh. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Well, that's because you're wearing pants, you dumbass. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. Oh my god. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. Oh my god, yes, please. The TV crew, huh? Uh, oh no, we can't end up to on TV. Better not stand out, yep. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Oh god, oh no. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah, what do we do? Oh god. Uh, let's make a run for it. Uh, no, let's just calm down. Well, uh, let's calm down, yeah. Good point. 
We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Oh, no. No, that's even worse. Ryuji, your cringy comments are gonna make the headlines and shit. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, <laughs> for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Oh no, Ryuji, it's bait. It's bait. Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> Yeah, we can't well, use this. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Perfect. Oof, that was too close. Ryuji killed it. He's an actual natural there. That was truly cringeworthy. <laughs> Are you certain that they won't air any of it? That needs to be a sound bite. That was truly cringeworthy. I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. It is a meme? Oh my god, yes. This game is making me want to do uh, voice prompts, like audio prompts for like follows and subs and stuff. More important than that though, it's time to get some meat. Yes. Oh, right, my kebab. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. My man didn't even get a kebab. What do you got there, Ryuji? Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather true. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. Oh. It's because we're together. I really wanted a cup of hot. That's pretty poetic, dude. Well. We came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What, the what thing? Yeah. I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, is that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? No. The stadium. Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Hmm. Yeah, then come on, let's go. Okay. What is this? So oh. that's it? Huh. It barely even started? Interesting. We seem to be premature spectators. Yes. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Yes. Yes, Ryuji. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. All right. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Ah! Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. My, my, my bro, what is a hot towel? Are you, where, how are you, how are you ordering a hot towel? I need to just be able to give you scale like 25K. Just be like, go, be free, my son. Hot towels are complimentary. Where? Where hot towels complimentary? That's so nice. Japan. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we need to get Yusuke on Patreon, basically. Uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Oof. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? It is. Hey. Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Watch her, like, vault immediately over the fence. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead without me. Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? Oh! Hey, what a pleasant surprise. Y yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Hmm. Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Okay. Yeah. Something wrong? Sometimes when things get me down, I come here. Although hmm. that 
Doesn't really answer your question, does it? No. I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Uh, yes? Kasumi's eyes look a little red and puffy. Oh, maybe best to accompany her. Oh, she's been crying. Oh. Whew, that was delicious. <laughs> I love it. She's got five plates around her. What did I just witness? Uh, you, you sure packed it away. Yeah. I'm always like this after a meet. In all oh. honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Oh my god, I love her. Yeah, was it worth it? Simply put, it was a disaster. Oh god. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it oh, to. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, that sounds rough. Yes, I've really hit a wall with this. Something similar happened to me in middle school, hmm. but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Yeah, who do you mean? I have a younger sister. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. The music is setting us up. Here we go. Yep, we're in black pages right now. But this spring, she died in an accident. Oh, fuck. A younger sister, too. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. Mm-hmm. Sojo mentioned this on like the second day. Wow. I've really Damn. been throwing myself into practice, but I wonder if even that won't be enough. Yeah, that has happened like. <sighs> you really are doing your best, yeah. Senpai. Oh. Thank you for being so thoughtful. Yeah. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Oh, the little tear wipe. Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> uh, not fully. Stomach's still growling well, a little. At least my mind and spirit are recharged. Yeah. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. Sure, actually, the best way to stave off hunger is to drink water, but, you know, teach their own. I wonder if her comments earlier with Akechi are now meant to be kind of contextualized a little bit with this little development, uh, learning about her, her past. Makes a lot of sense that she would have this, like, very specific view of things. Because, you know, like, she's having to actively take life by the, you know, by the reins just so that she can survive and get up in the, uh, get up in the morning. Let's see. Oh! Celebratory festival photo, yes! Here's our commemorative photo from the summer festival. At least that was the idea. Ah! Yes, yes! It's certainly evocative. Well, don't let it get to you. Shit happens. It's understandable given the heat. Perhaps your hands grew sweaty and it slipped. Next time we'll make sure we go somewhere we can actually eat. Agreed. I'd prefer an indoor establishment myself. Preferably one with ample seating and free refills on water. Ugh, that'd just be the diner again. And why not? It's a place of calm where one may also partake of delicious food. I mean, I guess? Man, all this talk about food's got me hungry. A cup ramen would hit the spot. I believe I shall do the same. Fortunately, I recently acquired some high quality bread crusts. <laughs> Yusuke, let us give you money! What the fuck, bro? High quality bread crusts, dude! Guys, so. The point in my life where I was the poorest and like, I was basically living like this with Yusuke. <sighs> so, what I would do is I had $40 a month for food, 
okay? To put this in perspective, this was back in 2010. I was, uh, yeah, a month, yes, yes. This is the poorest I've ever been in my life. I was living um, in a house with like 12 other people to save on money. I was so uh, broke and unable to get work because all the other students were taking the jobs that were outside of school hours, right? And uh, I worked out a deal with my landlord so that I could pay everything up front, but I would get a huge discount because I did that. So what I did was, <laughs> you're gonna laugh, but I mowed lawns in an area that had water droughts. So there wasn't even really lawns. It was more that I was digging out rocks from people's yards and primarily just getting what little grass they had to look decent, okay? And <laughs> there was this lovely little employee run Costco equivalent called Winco. And if you live in the US, you know how amazing Winco is. Winco literally saved my life that year. I was able to survive for a year on approximately $40 a month of food. Sometimes I would have 60 or $70. Yeah, if you know Winco, you know, you know Winco's legit. Very employee friendly place. It's actually an employee owned business as well. But what I would do is I would get bulk rice and I would just grind salt and pepper into it and just eat it like that, basically. Um, the other thing that I would do was I would get canned um, chili. They had a special deal where you could get like a can for like 50 cents, basically. And then what I would do, because it had beans in it, I would put that into the rice and have my own like chili rice, basically. And I could only do that probably about eight times a month, I would say. But the other thing they did was they had really cheap bread that was basically like about to expire. So the high quality bread crust kind of threw me back for a, a loop there of where I was like, yeah, I had to basically eat like expiring bread. From there, what I would do is I would have my roommates basically or housemates and be like, hey, um, do you mind if I share your peanut butter? And I would just have peanut butter sandwiches and rice every day for like eight or nine months. And uh, I was basically surviving off of um, savings from my summer job. Otherwise I wouldn't have enough to uh, get that there. But yeah, it was, it was stressful, but the best part about it was that Every once in a while, the housemates would have like community dinners and stuff. And there was kind of this understood thing that there was like three people in the house that had the most money and stuff. And there were probably like two other people who were in similar positions to me. And they'd just be like, come on in, just come, come eat with us. And I was like, it meant a lot. It meant a whole lot. Glad you're in a better place now. Yeah, I, I, I feel so, I feel so fucking blessed now. Like it's it's crazy. Good bros in that home. Yeah, they're great people. Great people. I I didn't have transportation, so I would oftentimes get driven to uh, to school in trunks of cars. I was also I the only place the only way I could afford this place as well um, was because it was ten miles away from school. So I had to. Uh, I had to get this place as well. Did you just say trunks? Yes. Yes, it was consensual <laughs> kidnapping. <laughs> I was uh, I was 20 years old. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was an experience. It was like one of the best years of my life, and also like one of the worst years. <laughs> you were dingy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you are a creamy peanut butter person, I have no judgment. But I see you as less of a human being if you, uh... <laughs> oh my god, we got a poll going up. Which, uh, kind of peanut butter is better? Alright, well I have to vote in this shit then. I'm, I'm voting here. Oh wait. This isn't... This is a prediction, this isn't a poll! Wait, this is a prediction! 
Dude is talking about how Crunchy is better while naming himself in the game Kurimu. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the L. I'll just take the L right there. You called me out. That's, that's, that's fucking true. Absolutely destroyed. Facts and logic right there. Alright, sorry, I couldn't catch it for you. I always forget how short my arms are as a cat. <laughs> Is this? Oh. She always thinks I have trouble with women. Okay. What shall we do? Luck reading. Yep, let's do it. Alright, so we're do charm. Because the movie's uh, one that gives charm points, right? It is charm? Okay, cool. All right, we're set. Cool, cool. We're a charming devil tonight. All right. She's crying. Please help her. I don't care about the money or my social oh. status, but please, I just need to tell her how I feel. Oh. My heart. Lady Ann's holding back her tears. She's totally empathizing. But the movie's right. A person's true value isn't about social standing or wealth. It's about what the effects are of their confidant, uh, of their confidant root. I feel like I was able to learn about love. But thanks to the craft of cinema, I was able to enjoy the film on a deeper level. And then combining the craft of cinema card with my buff that I get from playing the fortune teller in the face down position. I am able to boost my charm levels to untold potential. <sighs> oh, I used up two packs of pocket tissues. I guess girls like me want that perfect romantic kind of love you see in the movies. Hmm, Naruto. <laughs> Understandable. Hmm. 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 He's shouting all that in the cinema. <laughs> Thanks to my plus one Riz card, I have an extra 2% chance of getting laid tonight. <laughs> the fortune teller in the face down position? Didn't know this was that kind of stream. <laughs> Joker announces everything he does. And with this, I will now initiate the romance with On. This will allow me to access a special scene with On at some point after the new year. And now that I have this persona, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, understandable. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for going along with it. Now that I think about it, that movie wasn't geared towards guys at all, huh? Thanks. But I'm glad you came with me. You're such a good friend. Well then, let's head home. All right, we're ready to rank up. Got the sparkles, yep. Today's the fireworks festival. Let's meet in Shibuya at five. Hey, Makoto, are you gonna wear a yukata? I'm planning on it. Yukatas are a great part of the summer tradition. They truly heighten a woman's beauty. I think I will wear mine as well. Hell yeah! You've got one? How about you, Crispy? I I'll go in normal clothes. Hey, I know. Why don't you come without your glasses? What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was just thinking you might want to go for a change of pace. That sounds great. You should totally come without your glasses. Well, you guys better not be late. <laughs> fireworks and yukatas really add to the feeling of summer. Even Lady On will be wearing one. Come to think of it. Oh yeah, there's a fireworks festival today. Bro here immediately, immediately is like, for some reason, the way that cat meowed uh, so specifically made me think of a fireworks festival. If you're going, be careful. Those things get insanely crowded. Hey, hey. It'd be nice to watch the fireworks with the chief someday. We could watch them right here at LeBlanc. Actually, no, we couldn't. Oh, okay. Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Let's see. Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. 
It sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. Uh, yeah, what's this about? Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What? Just tell me what the group is! What's going on? What could he mean by an insane group? Yeah, give me more info! Let's think about this after we get back. Okay. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for nothing, Mishima. Damn. Damn, it's so hot. Hey, a couple people in uh, traditional clothes there. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Damn. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Fireworks festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be congested for the entire day. Sudden weather change is imminent. Be careful of sudden shifts in climate from afternoon to night. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Possibly, yeah. Uh, this should be fun. Okay, okay. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> I feel like I'm being baked. God, Yusuke, you are amazing. Those girls are way too late. <laughs> it must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I have got clothes like yukata. <laughs> Man, you look way too normal in that. No, he looks good! People often say that to me. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, yes. <laughs> Awkward oh, quiet. Way, the exams. <laughs> I bet you got a big fat F on them. Damn, Morgana! Shut up! We we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? Hey! Hello! That's right. Yeah. Us too! Wanna go together? Yusuke! Are we getting hit on? No! Yusuke is getting hit on! My boy is killing it right now. <laughs> Come on. Let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around to pain, so can we just go with these chicks? No. No way. We'll both apologize to the others later. No, no. That's enough. Whoa. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. What? Wait. Why don't you go after them then? Oh. So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Damn! Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's... <laughs> you know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. True, true. I guess. But he's more likable <coughs> since he stays true to his ideals. Hey, there you go, Makoto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely more than somebody I know. Oof. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Damn. I just realized, though, this is great setup for the, uh, the, the inevitable... I have the entire harem, right? And then Makoto is just like, shame. Fucking shame. Do you have any ideals, you spineless little shit? Like... Oh? Mona, you little... <laughs> hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Oh my god. Agreed. Yes, let's roll. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. Oh, yeah. It's kind of obscured. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Sudden weather changes. Rip. Come on. 
like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Damn. Oh. 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 Yeah. We we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. Ooh. Okay. Okay. New character. Everyone had the same idea. We've seen her in the background a couple times. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. Okay. You mean the girl in that black car? Yeah. Well, she's got a ride. It was called, almost like a limousine, too. Like it was oh, a nice time car. Time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. <laughs> it's not possible in the real world. Ah. My feet Clearly. Hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. Yeah. I made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? I mean, I like this shade. What are you, Moss? <laughs> I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Hey. Yeah. Let's go home. But we had a good time before the rain. So you oh. won't tell me, no matter what. Oh shit. I have nothing more to say to you about that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Judge me, mommy. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Mmm. Mmm. Huh? What's that supposed to Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. She didn't care about us, which is interesting. Lover's quarrel? Oh my god. If he was dating Sai, that would be too funny. Yeah, what's wrong? It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Damn, okay. Oh. Regrettably, the oh. cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. Okay. On to other news. Yeah. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement mm. to the Phantom Thieves. Ah, uh, so they're the ones that are going to declare war. She's going to be the one that's kind of the, the lead for this whole next section of the story. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the phantom thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. Oh, that's interesting. If she's associated with it, she seemed kind of surprised that that was happening. Huh. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. The phantom thieves again? Huh. However, we are magnanimous. <coughs> we will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Cool. Justice, huh? All right. We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement oh. was made at this time? Akechi, hey. I don't know the details. But there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Hmm. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Yeah. Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. Oh, cool. This is a way in which you can kind of disconnect the Phantom Thieves from the good that they're doing by basically saying that they're just like this hacktivist group, you know? What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Yeah. Phantom thieves, huh? <laughs> what in the world are they? Okay. You know about them? Uh... Uh... Well, not lie. Well, I have to do this then. Who? 
I'm the one asking you. <coughs> Don't return a question with another question. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Uh, oh. I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. Okay, sweet, sweet. Mm -hmm. We have ingredients. It's that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. What's that? Inspiring copycats? That's not a crime. You have a new message in the Phantom Thieves chat room. We've never actually had it be phrased that way. That's kind of interesting. We gotta talk about Medjed. You mean those guys people online are going nuts over? Medjed. That name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Med from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason they think we speak of false justice. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak of regarding Medjed? Well, why don't we go after them as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Medjet is an organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. So they operate on a global scale. That makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro. Right? But it's settled, our next target's gonna be Medjet. I wonder if the nav will get a hit if we put Medjet in. Oh, right. Uh, I don't agree to this. I don't, I don't. This is bait. Like, this is such obvious bait. Why would we do this? That would be impossible. It has to be a pseudonym. We don't even know how many people Medjet is. Oh. Wouldn't we get at least one member's info if we try and look into it, though? Even if we did, how would we discover their location? The only confirmed presence of Medjet has been online. This is a greater problem than simply finding their keywords. Unless you have more ideas, Ryuji? Hello? <laughs> it seems he had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Yes. Come on, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. Our reputation's gonna plummet if we don't face this shit. Uh, that's a bad motivation. That is true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Medjet has taunted us publicly, after all. If they are criminals, we cannot just let them be. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now, either. Hey, Crispy, let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. <laughs> is Mishima part of Medjet? No, it's dumb. Let's do that, yeah. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on him. It's highly unlikely, but sure. A world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. Yeah. But that's an organization, so... Huh. I don't know. I forgot to post the photo I took today! Oh, hell yeah! Aww, any more? Hey, not bad. Right? I've been natural with this candy photography stuff. Candid, yes. Uh, I'm hoping, I'll hope for your sake that that was intended to be candid photography. It's a shame about the rain, but at least it means today was a little more memorable. Yeah, but next time we really can't miss the fireworks. Agreed. Still, it was almost impressive how swiftly the weather turned terrible. Perhaps one of us is simply fated to bring rain wherever he goes. Medjed, those guys that claim to be modern day Robin Hoods? They dare call themselves heroes after those attacks? <laughs> They're fighting Medjed next? The Phantom Thieves are amazing. I don't want to hear about justice from some shady hackers. I don't care what happens, as long as it's interesting. Yeah, people are like that. Yeah. Oh, our grades are out. Hell yeah, let's go, let's go. Damn, I'm dead. I wish I could get in the top 10. Oh no! Oh no, the game crashed! No! And here we go, here we go. And our grades are out, how'd you do? Let's get in the top 10. I wonder what score I got. I'm in the top 10! Whoa. Okay, let's go! Whoa, everyone's gonna have their eyes on you now. Hell yeah. Charm, baby. Mm-hmm. Let's roll.
We were busy. It's not like I could focus on studying. <laughs> it's not my fault my scores suck, right? Yes, everything you do is your fault, Ryuji. It's your fault. You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. <laughs> Anyways. I'm your friend, of course I am. Here. Mishima. You wanna ask me something about the internet, right? Yes. Uh, why do I, uh, you know, have it constantly slow down when I visit strange sites? Well, yep. Ryuji. I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? It, it takes a lot for Ryuji to be straight with people. He hangs out with me, after all. Being straight is tough. <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. Okay. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. All right. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Oh, Dude. sure. Don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Mobilized, that's a fun word. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. Hmm. So, that was fruitless. I wonder if anyone else <laughs> had any info. Yishima was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. They were really just no leads. Hmm. Our opponent is truly elusive. No luck. Medjet, huh? It yeah. seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. Oh, oh. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week. But I have an unfortunate announcement. Slacking off time? We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Oh, okay. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, uh -huh. students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Kobayakawa, yeah. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. Having to find things. How are we gonna find Medjed? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrest somehow. Kaneshiro was a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. Do we bite off more than we can chew? Yeah, they're too big. Yeah. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. That's probably why my exams are going to shit, too. You know those are two separate things, right? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. We've been we've been properly hacked then. Oh shit. Clues on Medjet, huh? Hmm. The kingpin of the crime organization has fallen. Praise the phantom thieves for saving us. Ugh. This too is thanks to the power of the sun god and his blessings of the phantom thieves. Um, I don't mean to dispute you, sun god, but I thought your power was weak during the rainy season. The power of the sun god cuts through the darkness. Heal your battle wounds, my apostles. Excuse me, the main suspect of a vicious crime has been arrested. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I don't care. I see, no comment then, hmm? He is so pessimistic about the country's future that he sees no point in sharing his opinion. And that concludes our on-the-spot coverage. Ridding the world of evil, so damn admirable. In honor of the Phantom Thieves, I give you sometimes blues. All right, here we go, y'all. My heart hides behind tears. Will 
you steal it, steal it away in eternal night. Hey, is it possible to change and make the debut of my new self? The Phantom Thieves are the greatest. Thank you so much, man. How is my performance? I didn't feel anything. No, we always got a vibe with this guy. Huh, happy to hear. The blues is all well and good, but I need to live a rock and roll life like the Phantom Thieves. If I want to be a great model, I need to start training my body. Ryuji actually just told me about a gym he knows. He even said he'd train with me. Why don't you join in too, Crispy? We can train together. Oh! Oh! And we get to hang out with Ryuji while we do this? Hell yeah! This is amazing! Okay, let's go sweat it out. He said the gym is down in the back alley off Central Street. I'll send you the address later. I'll let Ryuji know too. Come meet us in Shibuya. Let's go! The combo! <laughs> and we even have protein ready. Me and Crispy actually have already been to this gym. It's pretty sweet, huh? Not too many people getting in your way. A anyways, uh, but what are you trying to do here? Yes! I want to slim down! Oh, why don't I... I hate when video games do this, where they're like, Look at this girl! She's literally, like, just fine in terms of body and stuff like that. And it can be like, you could, like, get more muscle, right? But she's like, no, I want to slim down. <laughs> huh. You tried jogging? Aerobics alone aren't enough. I want to tone up too. Good! There we go, there we go. So I need to start lifting weights. Good. We need to demystify the it's not feminine to lift weights. This is something that I still hear of amongst my peers. The women are like, no, 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 no. If I, if I lift weights, then I'll gain too much muscle. I'm like, no. You don't actually understand how hard it is to get muscle. You want to gain muscle? That is insanely hard. Lifting weights is not just gonna suddenly give you muscles. No, 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 no. Plus my shoulders are drooping. I wanna make my biceps leaner and need to straighten my back out. Okay, yeah, work on your back and shoulders, hell yeah. No, that's good, that's good. Obviously I wanna cut down on my waist size too and firm up my butt and calves. I mean, I like all three of these, honestly. This is acknowledgement, this is acknowledgement, and this is acknowledgement. I feel like I feel like we can't really go wrong here. Yeah, this one, if we go by the what's her goal here, this is the one that kind of fulfills that, you know? So let's do that one. Mm-hmm. I'm a guts demon. Come on. Uh, what the hell's that even supposed to mean? Anyway, motivation's good and all, but you're not gonna be able to move tomorrow if you do all that shit. Oh, well, well said, Ryuji. Set good expectations. Aww. Then you come up with a training regimen for me. Yes, also good. A lot of people just go to the gym and they don't actually have a plan as to what they're gonna do. So they just go to the gym once and then they never go again. Ugh, you're such a pain. <laughs> if you do that for me, I'll go on a date with you as a reward. Wait, is she saying this to kind of make me jealous? F that. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, fuck no. <laughs> Ryuji is the epitome of that guy who did the uh, the math proofs that women equals problems. <laughs> did you, have you guys ever seen that video? It's so fucking funny. Oh my god. It's the whole thing of like, this guy is going places. Not with many women, but he's going places. <laughs> yeah, women equals time x money. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, actual sibling energy, exactly. Quit thinking you're some sexy character in an anime. It's sad watching you like this. Oh, go Ryuji, go. Yeah, yeah, tear down that fake shit. She's wonderful, she's wonderful. She doesn't have to try and pretend to be somebody else. Exactly! Holy shit! Ryuji is so good sometimes! Seriously? What? 
No way, man. First off, one of them sexy characters that never come to the gym in her in their PE uniform. How am I supposed to know that? I've never even been to the gym before today. Oh, it's my agency. Oh, hi. Oh, yes, definitely. Even a smaller article would be great. Huh? It fell through? Yeah. Uh, I guess that's okay. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be in two magazines the month after next, but apparently one canceled on me. It was a black and white shoot, so they said I wouldn't stand out. Ooh, damn. I guess her blonde hair is really powerful in that regard, so. Wow, rough. It sounded like fun, though. It was about the everyday life of models. Guess you just gotta find somewhere you do stand out, then. Huh, there has to be somewhere my vibrant charm will shine, my vibrant charm will shine, right? I, good luck finding it. I mean, we're, we're gonna be encouraging here. No doubt in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where? <laughs> Damn, okay, Ryuchi, now you gotta chill out a little bit. By the way. Oh, hey, speaking of magazines, there was a real pretty girl in that one you said you were starring in. Oh, this is why Ryuji's here. This is why Ryuji's here. Ryuji couldn't just be spitting, he has to start kinda eating uh, now. This is a... Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, all too obvious. She's got this innocent vibe, but she's sexy, too. Now that's what real charm looks like to me. Were there photos of me, too? Uh, yeah. And does she have long brown hair? Yep, that's the one. You know her? You gotta introduce me, dude. Uh. You dick! <laughs> of all the girls you could have been talking about, it just had to be Mika! Ugh, I'm so pissed! Come on, which machine are we using first? I'm gonna break it! The three of us trained until we reached our limits. Oh, my body hurts. But for some reason, I feel satisfied. That's what working hard feels like. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I think it was because of the two of you were here with me. I had to prove I was working extra hard. <laughs> it's simple stuff like that that'll help you keep pushing. Good advice, good advice. Damn it, I wish I had thought of that. Uh, this ain't a competition. Whoa. Crap, for real? Mom forgot to buy stuff for dinner, so I guess I gotta head home now. See you guys. Aw, no Ryuji points. Damn it. I even complimented him in everything. Ryuji just can't say no when his mom needs help, huh? I'm actually a little jealous of the relationship they have. Ayo, hey, what? What? Oh, oh. Oh, I I get it. I I I thought she was jealous of the fact that <laughs> No, she's just wishing that she had a closer relationship with her mom. I Yeah, I... I'm sick, yeah, yeah, well, I'm sick and I'm I'm hopped up on Dayquil, you know? That, yeah, yeah. I mean, even growing up, my parents were super busy. See, all I have to do is just click the next one and... Holy shit, such a degenerate. Ryuji brain moment, yep, exactly. They always told me I was strong, that I'd be fine on my own. I was free, but I was lonely. I'd make friends, but we moved a lot, and every time I had to start all over again. I actually got used to the loneliness. But that all changed once I met that all changed once I met Shiho. The world seemed so hopeful. I heard her rehab is going well. She's going to be officially transferring school soon, too. Hey. I need to show her that I'm working hard, and that she doesn't need to worry so much about me. These are both really good. These are both really good. Let's do this then. Yeah. Right. Hey, she's ready to rank up. So that means we're super, we're super in the clear then. We might max out on this stream. She needs to see how much I've learned from her. All right, cause that's a strong resolve from on. All right, endure. All right. 
Hell yeah. Let's get back. Come on, let's go home. I might have trouble moving though. My legs are killing me. Do you want a piggyback Bye. ride? Well, see you later. We're level eight with Ryuji as well. Oh, Crispy, it's me. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, my muscles are so sore right now. Going home took me more than twice as long as usual. But I'm really proud of the work I put in today. I would have just given up if I went alone. I'm so glad I had you guys with me. You two are the best. I wonder if this is how Shiho felt with her rehab, being able to push herself because someone else was there with her. Yeah. You can ask her yourself, yeah. I mean, uh, that could actually sound a little bit mean. It's probably it, yeah. You think so? It'd be really hard if I actually helped. I'd be, oh, I'd be really happy if I actually helped her push so hard. Wow, I, I can't read. Yeah, I must be actually a little bit delirious. Damn it. Not much time left until Shiho switches schools. I need to up my cook. I need to up my cookness? Caleb, what the fuck? I need to up my coolness so she can take off without worrying about me. Ah, ow. I forgot how sore I was. Sorry, but I better get some rest for now. Bye-bye. So I looked into Medjed. Did you find anything? As you know, Medjed is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? It, and its name apparently means the Smiter. It seems nobody is actually sure that Medjed is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. An unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Dude. <laughs> everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait. Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile. Oh, like playing cards. That's cool. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yusuke's popping off on the Egyptian god lore. Everyone else is like, uh, bro, it's 2 a.m. I need to go to bed. What, what are you talking about? This is literally the Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about meme on display right here. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. Ah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well done. <laughs> hey, there's nothing to be impressed about. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? Uh, that's enough. Thank you. So, we still don't have any tangible clues. No, no, no. We do actually know, we do actually know one thing. This person, the 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 girl, at the very least, is connected to a group that cares about Egyptian lore. Look up what Medjed looks like. I will not do that, but uh, you guys can describe it for me if you if you want to. Oh, 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 oh! Actually, actually, Kawakami and Sojuro, and they can advance. Fuck! All the people I actually want to advance. Like Sojiro and Kawakami and um, fucking uh, Akechi. But then I have Oya, Mishima. I mean, I do care about Hifumi. But can we can we just talk about how insane this is? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So now we go hang out with Hifumi. Let's see if there's anything here. The fatal car crash on the highway of the, on the highway on the 11th of this month has led to some unexpected after effects. Goodness food stock suddenly plunged and general unease has spread throughout the market. Yeah. Since the arson had its affiliate, Haneruya, Goodness Food has been desperate to restore its image. With the vice president, who is called in as a Trump card, now dead, the company is panicking. Goodness Food's rivals in the restaurant industry, however, are taking advantage of its slump. <sighs> it's one bad thing after another with this company. Hmm, I wonder if they're cursed or something. One of the things I didn't think about, though, is if we're dealing with vigilante justice as a core theme of the story, and there's somebody else out there that at least is one person involved in the metaverse stuff, I never thought about the idea of someone literally being a metaverse mercenary for hire, and they have no like code or qualms about anything that they're doing, and it's just the idea of like doing this for money. And so they're doing corporate sabotage, they're getting, 
you know, kind of their own equivalent of like a, like a, yeah, like a meta hitman, exactly. Like someone who's just doing this for money and the people that are hiring them don't even know how they're doing it. They just get results, you know? Like, I feel like we need to have, based on the way they're setting up this story, we need to have at least two, maybe even three big metaverse users out there that aren't us. We need someone out there that's basically an, kind of like someone who's who's doing things similar to what we're doing, but is slightly off, like a parallel kind of person there. And then we need uh, someone who's kind of off doing their own like personal thing. And then we need like like a mercenary, someone who's just cold as fuck, you know? And I feel like we have, I feel like we have just enough characters introduced right now where we could have people that fill that, that bill. The thing is, is that some of these archetypes fit pretty well for like, like many of the characters that we have thus far. Like, Akechi's weird for one because he's definitely a bit presenting his own persona, pun intended, of like being like the, you know, the celebrity that doesn't want all this attention, yet he's absolutely doing things to try and build his own reputation and stuff. So he could, he could feel like like pretty much every single one of those archetypes. Um, Kasumi, Kasumi has a lot of potential to be at the very least all of them, I think, except the mercenary, really. Maruki as well also kind of fits the bill of someone that would be like, maybe like having discovered it, but is kind of like testing it a little bit, like doesn't really know exactly how to use it and stuff. The politician guy, definitely, Definitely has some connection there with that. Uh, thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never gonna wash it. Huh? Huh? Um, please wash it. I can't believe that you're really here in a church. I read on the internet that you pray to God for victory. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been... I'll be cheering for you to qualify. You'd be the first woman to surpass the third Don League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Hey. Men like that approach me all the time. At first I thought you were one of them. I must... I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um... It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend, and he's very kind. He, he once told me that he wanted to become a professional player, and he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. Oh. So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. Uh, I did not. I think I'd be honest here. Describes you perfectly. Venus. Venus has a little bit of some other connotations, though. Yeah, I think that's quite the headline, too. Yeah, I think that's the one I'd like. Yeah. It certainly is. Um, it's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with that title on their own. Ever since I won the Female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I could contribute to the Shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Oh, we did the wrong one? Okay, gotcha. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. <sighs> so I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. I hate saying you should. I hate saying you should. It just always feels wrong, you know? The first two seem like they're saying the same thing, so I'm guessing they're both fine. But this one, being the one that stands out, feels like it's it's tough. Empathy always good. Yeah, I think I just have to choose one of the first two. This implies, though, she's not up to the task. So let's do one. No, to be honest. But it's all right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be teaching you how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today, I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reserved pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Missed points on both. Two is the one that gives points? Fuck! Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel that he's speaking with actually, you. Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Damn. This has been horrible. 
All right. All right. Now then, I will instruct you while we play. I look forward to it. Are you ready? All right. She turns on the intensity. Yeah, we are not very compatible. True. <laughs> ah, this is Hifumi. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you. But this hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm this distressed? Uh... These are all the same thing, kinda. This is part of our deal, too. Yeah. Hmm? Is it? I'm not quite sure I understand. But if that is the case, I can only hope to repay you through my lessons. Well, we found all the wrong answers. You make for a refreshing opponent. Somehow, the more we exchange, the more I feel my world expanding. Teaching you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. Wow. Incredible. Flawless. Uh, Velvet Room? Yeah, okay. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. Yeah, I do. You would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. I know my social stats are amazing, but I, I can't I can't I can't run these confidants. It's ridiculous. One with an unseen form. Hmm. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. Yeah. It's big news. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, oh. it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Okay. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Okay. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Wow, you really had to say he three times in that sentence, huh? Just reinforcing that it's obviously the girl. Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Yeah, they're really pushing this uh, assumption here. Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. Mm -hmm. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. Yep. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Yeah. Then does that mean <coughs> this guy's a hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Okay. Then is this person measured? I Could doubt be. it, considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. Exactly. True. The timing is very hey, convenient. Wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? Yeah. But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. Nope. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Not yet, but it Could will. Could this just be a prank? Nope. He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. Right. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal, after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. 
It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Okay. Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> What's with the big group? Friends. Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? Yeah. It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. Younger sister of Sai Nijima. She's our student council president. Hmm. Hmm. Nijima. Yep, he noticed immediately. Is something wrong? Yeah. No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. Aww. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. Yeah, they do. Yeah, exactly. By the way, that was addressed to you. Okay. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. Oh, all shit. Right. The store's all yours. Okay. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. I like how they really like combine the D and the J. It's Medjit. It's not Medjit, you know? It's Medjit. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Cool. All right. Oh, come on. It's in English. <laughs> Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. <coughs> you must not worship the Phantom Thieves. All right. What? That's bullshit. Keep listening. Well, worshiping us is not on the on the deal here. We don't want anybody worshiping us. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? Huh. They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Yeah. Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? <laughs> Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! I mean... Talk yeah. about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's still all bait, for sure. It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Yeah. We don't need any more trouble. Let's see. Open it up. It's rare for you to get something like this. It's very rare. It's literally never happened. Oh, we got a calling card. A calling card? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Yeah, someone local. Could it have been Alibaba? Oh, shit. That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Oh. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? Okay. What the hell's going on here? I like this. All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by in case anything comes up. What's the word on the card? Oh, dear. I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjid is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. 
So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kamish Kaneshiro case. Those on the other side say Mejid are hackers of justice. There's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. He can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. All right. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Yep. Did Alibaba message you? Uh, it's just Ryuji. Ha <laughs> ha. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? I love how he knew when we didn't respond within two seconds. He's like, oh, nothing? Oh, okay. Ryuji again? <laughs> he just never shuts up, does he? Hey, Morgana, come on, calm down. Ryuji's great. Good day. Uh, good day to you, too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? Uh, uh huh. No. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Mm hmm. I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card. So it really was from this guy. Yeah. Are you at school right now? Uh, I'm in class. Hmm. You're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Uh, steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. Yeah. Uh, what's the, I need a name. A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? Just tell me. I see. Hmm. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. Wait. Wait. Is it Sojiro's last name Sakura? Oh shit. Oh shit. If you fail this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Uh, wait. Yeah. So he threatened you, then just took off? Yeah. Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah. We should let everyone know about this. Yeah. Things are heating up. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? They literally just had Sojiro give his full name to Makoto earlier. Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? Yeah, go Makoto, go! It's boss's last name! Yeah! Does he have any family? Yes he does, a daughter. For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living in a place. <laughs> well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. Uh -huh. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Ooh. Smart, smart, Makoto. Perhaps Very smart. Thinks that the name alone is enough. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. Oh my God! Wait, 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 wait. This all, this all makes like, this all makes so much sense. So the idea that we got hacked at all is pretty wild. If the boss's daughter is literally just chilling next door has access to the internet that we're we're using here just goes straight through hacks our our devices and stuff you know grabs the data and stuff like that boom easy like it's 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 not even like it's not even like remotely difficult at that point oh my gosh See, i don't know how alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. 
You mean this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. Yeah. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Yeah, yeah exactly. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. Yes. That's probably for the best. Just be casual There's about it. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. Okay. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. In before, in order to progress the story, you must have rank seven with Sojiro or some shit. Hmm? What's up? Um... Uh... Just so blatant, just like, yo, uh, I wanna meet, uh, I wanna meet, I wanna meet, I wanna meet Futaba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just do this one, yeah. Why do you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> so Joe's just like, Nani? So Joe's just like, I have a hole that I've pre-dug out in the back exactly for this moment. <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. What? What? Looks like it's a hit. Yep. Oh, I just remembered. Crispy, were you able to ask Bosk about Futaba Sakura? Uh, I tried. So no results. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm. Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Mejid. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of Boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both Boss and Kurusbi. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. Yo. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. Ah, no, not the lame shit. No! If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Yep. Oh, yeah. About this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's Possibly. That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Ugh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Alright. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district, and don't go to the beach after dark. The beach? The beach? The beach? We're going to the beach? Can we go to the beach? I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. Seems like we won't be having fun in our summer break for a while. Oh my god! Oh my god! Futaba? Futaba? Yes, I know that name. I heard it somewhere before. Ah, yes, that was the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. Uh, let's ask some other people, too. Sakura-san's single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Let's ask some other people, too. Okay. Hmm, did you want to listen in? Do you think the Phantom Thieves are... Oh, you think the Phantom Thieves are a danger to society? Send us your opinions by email or fax. <laughs> email and fax? Oh, that's amazing. What's this rubbish about Phantom Thieves? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. Okay, so nothing good here. Mm, can I help you? Futaba, huh? Hmm. We do get the occasional youngin coming and poking around, but I'm afraid I don't know them by my by name. No luck here either, huh? Let's go ask some other people. Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Uh, hey, I'm a growing boy. It was just you and him. Then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's Boss who eats a lot then. Ah, gotcha. So there is someone else that lives with him. Probably his daughter. 
And that's why he eats a lot. He eats a lot. Futaba. Hmm. Nope. Don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura Sons often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Right. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Sure. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. All right. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, voice acted. Utaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come again. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. <coughs> yeah, probably. All right. Yeah, it's like P4 time, yeah. You read the letter, did you not? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. Ah. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Wakaba. Futaba and Wakaba. Ooh. Is that a wife or an ex-wife? Because Futaba sounds like it could come from the name Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? Oh shit, here we go. What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Wait, what's your job again, Sai? Why are you here doing this? Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. Oh, she's a prosecutor. Right, 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 right. Duh. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way oh, to avoid no. having your custody revoked. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, I get it now. I get it. I get it. Yeah, Sojuro is probably dealing with false claims of domestic abuse from an ex. Probably even Futaba's mom. Futaba probably is going through all of this to have us then give her a change of heart so that she doesn't have to deal with all this shit, maybe? Like, maybe it's just a, it's just too much, it's too painful or something? You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it. We're extremely serious about this. As okay. long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Wait, what? <laughs> Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Okay, this is wild. Stay out! <laughs> Damn, Sojuro! is real good at pissing people off. <laughs> yeah. What's with that look? You got something to say? Um, yeah, what was that? This doesn't involve you. Yeah, is Futaba your daughter? Yeah. That's enough. Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Oh. Lock the store up. Oh, poor guy. He's dealing with some crazy shit right now. He is well, stressed as fuck. Confirms Futaba exists at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. Yeah. So, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, uh -huh. and didn't they mention cognitive? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. I like how Mona is basically a highlighter and like highlights specific things that is like, this is something you should remember. Yo, how'd it go? You find out anything about Futaba Sakura? I've been wondering about that too. Uh, tell you tomorrow. Whoa! So you did learn something. Fine work. I knew we could count on you. Karispikun, thank you. All right, then let's all meet up tomorrow. A nice. woman was threatening boss? Okay. Yeah, she was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. What's up? Yeah, Makoto 
knows who it is. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's Ugh. daughter, and he's abusing her. Uh, yeah, he's been accused of that. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? It's the rough thing is where we kind of know on a meta level that there's no way he would do that, but we don't know him that well in story. So this is actually a really cool thing to have the story kind of bring up because it could feel kind of out of the blue, but the fact is we don't really know anything about, uh, about him. So character-wise, it makes sense that we would doubt him a little bit. I don't know. It's difficult to say. Sometimes the person on the outside is much different from the one within. True. Is it Alibaba? It is. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. That's interesting. I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. I also would report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. What a selfish person. Interesting. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? Mm. So, mm. I need keywords to get in. It's almost like there's a deadline with this. Try messaging him about him. Uh, tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Uh, I want to meet you. Meet with me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. Hmm. That's why I'm contacting you like this. Okay. Okay. I think that pretty much confirms it, that the girl, the girl with the, the computer setup and everything, they're all, they're all connected. They're all the same person. And it's probably that she's some kind of a shut-in, like doesn't like being outside on some level. The connection here is that Sojiro has only ladies on his phone, right? And I'm guessing what it is, is that she's constantly needing Sojiro to bring things to her, right? And because of the state that she's living in, people from the outside, potentially like people that Sojiro has either dated or an ex or something like that, or even her mom, call it in that he's not trying to pull her out of that situation, are calling it domestic abuse. And yet, if anything, it's just that he's probably just being a, do uh, a doting dad who just wants to make sure that she feels good, you know? And I feel like, I feel like, I feel like that's basically it. Like, it feels pretty good. You can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Who are you? I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. Why are you doing this? Well. Huh? Huh. Did he just shut the whole operation down? Cool, this cool. doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. No. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. <laughs> You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. Okay. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? No. You do have a point. No. it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown. Okay, hit me with it, Ryuji. We got 
150,000 yen out of it. Let's go! Let's go! So we get 30k? That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. All right. Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? Sushi! Go for some eel too. I could, I could definitely go for some sushi. Holy shit, I've been missing sushi. Oh my god. Yes. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. Oh. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it. Yeah, don't okay? do that. I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Yeah, sushi's fine. Let's do it. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Wait, no, my Sunday! No, let me have my Sunday! No, no! I wonder if all that measured business was just a prank. Now they think about it calmly. It's actually it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh. When you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder, too. Especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Right, because the purpose was not the attack. The taunt itself was the whole thing. Yeah. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now, though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Hmm. Yeah, something's not right. I was thinking that, too. I can't really put it into words, though. Hmm. Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up. On the day before our celebration party, too. Cheer up, Makoto! We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow! I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. You better not be talking about me! Yes. Nice. Okay. Let me go outside! God damn it! Hey! Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Quite ooh. busy, Sai son. Ooh. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? Ooh, cool, 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 cool. The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashiro. Right. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. Oh, Mejid was dormant for some time? That's actually really important info. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up, Akechi. <laughs> you pretty motherfucker, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go off How on this bitch. How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? Oh, oh, I like this side of Akechi. Akechi's like, um, why don't you actually take me seriously for once? Yeah, yeah, why don't you try that? Let's see how that works. You may think it absurd. But don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? Oh, he's, 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 <laughs> oh, oh my God. The way he phrased that, don't you think? Just that subtle little bit of manipulation. It's so good. It's not, these are the conclusions I've come to. It's the, don't you think? He's, he's, he's like, he's a, he's a gloved little motherfucker pushing a little domino, and he's just like, hmm, let's see how this goes, I wonder. Hmm. What are you basing this off of? Good. <laughs> Fucking Akechi's like, don't you know? Haven't you seen the internet and the news? The people call me based. And Sai's just like, based on what? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. Mm. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their oh. true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? Well, <sighs> fucking a catchy. So the conversation that the SIU guy had with a mysterious somebody was about how they were gonna make the Phantom Thieves take responsibility and kind of blame them for the psychotic breakdowns. And now what do you know? Akechi here be like, 
Hmm, you know, this is uh, clearly what their uh, their goal is. Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, little bit of inception. Just a little idea. Throw it into your head. There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. There's also nothing that proves it, but you know. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. No, of course not. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Wow. The police. The servants of the justice of this country. The only value. It's fun to dog on the police, right? But if Akechi is the justice arcana, he just basically dogged on them and saying the police, the only value they have is mobility, the fact that they move relatively quickly, and the the well-oiled nature of their organization itself. Yeah, acting as though he's above them. He's like, they are nothing. They are nothing. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Oh! Oh, shit! Wait, 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 wait! Okay, hold on. Let's piece this apart here. The Guardian... The Guardian of the Mental Shutdown Victim's Daughter. Oh, this gets... Oh, this gets very interesting. So the mom had a mental shutdown. And, oh fuck, okay, okay. Yeah, this is getting curry levels of spicy, yeah. Nothing at all. Good joke, chat, good joke. I see. Now. What should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Damn. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just gotta say, one of the things... When we first met Akechi, one of the things about Akechi that just always struck me as like a... Hmm. Okay, that's a design choice. But he just did the animation where he put on a glove. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of my favorite things about the people that are like, I'm about to go get my hands dirty, is when they put on the gloves and they're like, let's let's get shit done. And it's just like, oh fuck. Like, oh fuck. Akechi has like, in my mind, he has like three alter ego identities that he could be pulling here. But the thing that makes me most excited about him is I feel like he's got not just one of three, but potentially like two of three. He's presenting himself in this particular way, right? But it feels like he's got like two or three other layers beneath him. Akechi is like mementos. The more you dig down, the more fucked up and weird things get. It's just like, um, what are you hiding, you son of a bitch? Akechi is so good at jumping between how he presents himself. I wouldn't be surprised if he has like four to six personas of his own. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. He, he seems like he's the kind of person who who very clearly is involved in this shit in some way. So he's, he's definitely like, he's definitely like involved, but it's the thing as to where like, what's his ultimate goal, right? Like he's, 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 he's at least got his own hands in things, but also has his own kind of like held up principles and ideology that I would love to see where those things mesh with whatever, whatever he's doing behind the scenes, you know? This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. <laughs> he lied as easily as he breathed. Well then, to our victory. Oh! Oh, that looks so good. Oh my God. Oh my God, that looks so freaking good. The flounder is out of this world. Oh my gosh. You guys wanna hear something very satisfying? 
I don't see any prices listed here. Oh no, Yusuke, it's gonna be okay. We got you, buddy. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. Oh wait, actually, that's a good point. 150,000 yen. There's actually a possibility that they eat too much. So good. Hmm. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? <laughs> hmm. Eat your horses. And don't talk. Yeah. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? No, but I Not we again. just we just don't know, you know. I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? He is pretty strict. Oh, because of your record. Yeah. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. Yeah, An had a good talk with him. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Oh, good. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Way to go, An. Very smart. Off-screen smartness. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. I mean, I think you're Doubtful. I think you're off, but you're in the right direction, I feel like. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Hmm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Crap! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, um, f f fan fantastic! This sushi is delicious. <laughs> y yeah, the fish is so fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. It didn't even work. It didn't even work. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Oh my god. Absolute dumbass. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Oh, hey. Akechi-kun. Yeah. Hi. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? Yes. It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Yeah. Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually <laughs> just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> this game has absolutely stepped up all the character animations. The second he's like, you're a student of Madarame, right? Yusuke was like, huh, to... Mm. Yusuke immediately giving him the stink eye of like, I'm not sure I like you. <laughs> Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? Or? Mm -hmm. Their website was updated just a moment ago. Oh, dang. For real? Die English again. <sighs> Wait, what? Fucking Ryuji saying English again. The again part. What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so yep. agitated? Yep, yep. <laughs> God damn it. She's uh, a, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. I mean, it's not like he already. He totally already knew. But it's just the thing of like. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. <laughs> what is with these comments? 
Yeah. My apologies. Drilling Makoto. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation, but I must say, this is an interesting group. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, mm -hmm. an ex pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Yep, there it is. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? <gasps> He's living this! I don't care. No, we gotta, we gotta play along. We gotta play along. This is such an L in light moment. Probably ignore them. That is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Hmm. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. Yep, because I did. Ryuji, you're such a, you're such a dumbass. Shut the fuck up. Yes, I'm giving the unexpected answer, and he's like, yeah, see, we're we're just high, normal high school kids. Mm-hmm. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. Yep. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. <laughs> Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. Oh, what a coincidence. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Definitely. Uh-huh. What? You gonna report us? Ryuji! Shut the fuck up! Ryuji! Oh my god! I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Hmm. Ryuji's a phantom thief! Ah! I can't not pick this. I have to do this. I literally have to do this. M me? You're siding with him? <laughs> I wasn't anticipating that response. <laughs> You will always find a way to rise above my expectations. <laughs> Ryuji, confidant rank reduces back to one. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? Wait, you're not? Wait, wait a minute, wait. Akechi sometimes says things that make me go, wait, what? I don't think Akechi is actually that good of a liar now that I think about it. There's a lot of things that he says where he kind of laces in the truth with what is seeming to be some kind of like performance. And the fact that he said, I lack your calm mannerisms, which has nothing to do with the pre with the next part of the statement here, which means it's tied to his whole thing of like complimenting, you know? He's just trying to compliment and seem nice and stuff. Yet by phrasing it like that, it's almost like, no, he actually is telling the truth here. So Akechi inside, is like, like high activity, high stress, high performance, just go, 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 go. Not calm at all. Not calm at all. I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> oh. What the hell are you saying? Yes, join us. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identity? Yeah, he's offering, he's offering to be recruited. He's like, please recruit me. Yeah. Nah, couldn't be. Right? <laughs> I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. Yeah, from now on. Yeah, for sure. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True. But it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Uh, true, true. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Majed. Okay, what'd they say? Oh yeah, what did they write? Yeah. Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Okay. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? <laughs> Fucking Ryuji. We're gonna cleanse Japan. For real? Keep going. 
However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. Huh. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Okay. Sounds bad. Yeah. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? Yeah. And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. It works pretty well with the idea that uh, our opponents are wanting to put us uh, to be the ones that are responsible for the mental shutdowns. And by framing the narrative in this way, if we don't do this, then it shows that we don't care about Japan, which makes it then for the average person not a large step to conclude that we are some form of terrorists because all the acts that have been done, you know, with the shutdowns and stuff, you know, aren't that far off then. What are we gonna do about this? If only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Yeah. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to LeBlanc? We can talk more over there. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Let's go, Makoto. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, uh -huh. how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. Because they're the same person. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact Good. be Futaba herself. Nice, nice. For real? Yeah. So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Cool, cool. Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. Yeah. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Yep. Yeah, know where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. Oh, nice. But my fatty tuna! No. No complaining. Yeah, yeah. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Okay, yeah. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Yeah. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Yeah. Oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go open in other people's stuff like that. Let's go! We're breaking and entering. Let's go. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Oh no, we gotta go in. It's it's stormy. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. What? And she's like, I wasn't talking to you. My apologies, boss. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, 
boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, the music. <laughs> Scream? What was that? How should I know? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Get out of here, please! Can we just go? Oh my god. What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! <laughs> no, of course not. Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um, can I hold your hand? Absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can sense someone's presence. Ah, you scared the Jedi here. I've been like, there is a disturbance in the Force. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, wait, what? No, my legs won't move. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! Just you Alibaba! Futaba! Hey! Come on! Where are you? You're a hacker, right? Just show yourself! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please save me! <laughs> This is this is pure comedy in the best possible way. Oh. <laughs> you? What are you doing in my house? I love that it's just Makoto here, so he's already gonna get the wrong idea, which is what Makoto said earlier that if he just sees the two of us, he's gonna get the wrong idea. This is absolutely yeah peak peak, and then they're all right on the other side over there. This is so good. <laughs> You're. <laughs> oh, good, good evening, sir. Uh, we, we didn't mean to intrude. Oh my gosh. Nijima-san. Yeah. Wait, are, are you two dating? Yes, absolutely. Well, we're just friends. <laughs> friends nowadays get that close to each other? <laughs> not yet, exactly. But that's not it. And why are you in my house? Ah! You kids are here too? Yes. Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. Yes, that's actually that's actually good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go on. Yeah, bring up the sushi immediately. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. Good, good. The door was unlocked. On's acting is on point. Let's go. Yes. I do that sometimes, because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me, there's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yep. Yeah, my daughter. Okay. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san, too? <laughs> uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize, if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. Yeah, she's just nervous around people, right? I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. 
All right, what is it? Just hit us with it. It's gonna be okay. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Huh, she'll hear us over there as well. Now, where do I start? Oh, okay. Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Yes, I... I believe that's how being a mother works, but, you know, I, I get what you're meaning to say here. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. All she right. sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. Oh, She truly was a great woman. Okay. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Okay. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Hmm. Yeah, what about her father? There wasn't a father. Oh. Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. Okay. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. Gotcha. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. Okay. But one day she left, leaving Futaba behind. Oh, did she die? Yes, she committed suicide. Oh, fuck, man. Suicide threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Oh. <sighs> okay. Well, now we have a very strong emotional reason to change Futaba's heart. Because, well, not wanting to go outside is the place where her mom died. And Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. <clears throat> it's gotta be devastating for a kid. So, well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. Yeah. First, she was so depressed, she, she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. Yeah. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago... Oh, timing. She'd say things whoop, whoop, like, whoop. I hear voices and... Mom is looking at me. Shit. She started getting real scared, even when nothing was happening. Oh, shit. She'd say things like, I hear voices, and Mom is looking at me. Okay. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Oh, oh. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. Well, yeah, that makes sense. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. Oh, so we're going to, we're going to do this to, 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 we're going to, we're going to do this to save her from the, her hikikimori. Hikikomori, yeah, Hikikomori uh, setup status and stuff. So, oh. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. Oh. There's a lot I don't get about her. 
Oh. Hmm. So, yeah. Her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Oh boy. This one's gonna get me, y'all. This one's gonna get me really good. Yeah, don't worry about it. Thanks. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to either. Right, and that makes sense why then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. Is that what you desire? What I desire, huh? I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy, like a normal person. Oh. Well, that's that. Oh. So, can you just leave her be? <laughs> I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. <sighs> Yeah. No way in hell he's abusing her. Exactly. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. Yeah. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Yeah. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Uh, why? I don't know about this. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Yeah. Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. Oh, she does. What the? She's got one. Mm -hmm. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Yeah, it just means their their cognition is distorted. Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? Oh shit, where's Morgana? Did we leave Morgana at the house? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. Yeah, yeah. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjed called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. Ah, he was there for the fatty tuna. Exactly! I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about <coughs> herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. Oh. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh. Wait! Oh shit! Uh, Were hey. you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? <laughs> no, I was literally going to go out and look for you, Morgana, but we had... Uh... I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? <clears throat> uh, yeah, where were you? Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. Oh my god. I was checking out the chief's house. Amazing. Actual ninja, right here. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Yeah, what was she like? She had long hair and a pretty young-sounding voice. Well, I say young, but 
I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. Okay. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely <coughs> overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. Right. Yeah, just who is she? In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjet. Well, let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. All right. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's this going to be? Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Uh... They were an unseen enemy. Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura huh. family generally falls in line with our investigation. Hmm. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Okay. Finally listening? Yep. <laughs> if you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. Oh. Medjed's identity at this point is still unknown. Interesting. I'll just keep going. I need to let the characters cook a little bit more. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Seems Sai Nijima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Oh, this is for Sai. Cool, cool. All right. Okay, nice. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. Interesting. What a coincidence. Okay. Huh. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Okay, cool. Rip Mish Mishima. Medjet about to dox him. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. Oh, dang. Two takeout bags for Big Bang Burger. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. Oh. You really should buy a couple more outfits. On. On. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? <laughs> He's poor. Come on. Be Let's respectful. Let's get to Alibaba's case. Then I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. Okay. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? We already went over this. That doesn't matter. Yep. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. Yeah. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young. <coughs> Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. Oh, According sure. to the chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. Mm -hmm. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. True. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, uh -huh. or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Yeah. 
Absolutely. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? All right. We're cracking. The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Yeah. Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't say <coughs> anything. Important memories, huh? Yeah. I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? Oh, I don't know. No, I'm sure I'll remember. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can Aww. retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. Okay. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. Yeah. You really do have a gift, don't you? Who knows? I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. Oh! Okay, yeah, rank up, let's go. Allows you to craft all infiltration tools. All right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Okay. Wholesome now shit. The last keyword. She's a shut in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. Uh cave. Hideout. Secret base. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps oh. a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Have not been met. Maybe an oasis? Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? <gasps> oh. Okay, good. We don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can. Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. <laughs> you have to be joking. <laughs> the door be locked for sure this time? Nope. I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. The other funny thing is that how will the calling card thing work again, you know? He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. All right. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps yeah. she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. Huh. This is Futaba's room. Uh, yeah. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? That's not helping. I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Yeah, we need to have uh, her text it to me, yeah. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Yep, yep. Is it Alibaba? Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Yeah. Does she not like us saying her name? Oh. We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's okay. why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Mm -mm. Okay. All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. What do you want to hear? What is this house to you? A house is a house. Looks like you should ask something different. What do you want to hear? 
How is living in this house? It's painful. Yeah, why? I don't know. Looks like you should ask something different. Why don't you go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. Oh, it's a cemetery. Uh, die? Is this going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb, there we go. Wow. Tomb? You think that's it? Yeah. Try entering tomb. <coughs> there it is. Put accepted. Searching for route to destination. Oh, okay. We got it. Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You know what's sad about this? We might never meet this Futaba. Like, it's kind of scary to think about, but like, we are kind of killing this Futaba. This is literally her tomb. Like, we are asking her to have almost an assisted personality suicide, you know? You idiot! Don't activate it here! Too late. Well. Ooh. We're in a it's desert. A desert. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go underground. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the? Our, our clothes are still the same? Ooh. Futaba herself is asking us to steal. Ooh, her okay, okay. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. Okay, sure. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Yeah, it's just a void desert. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? All right. Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. Cool, we got a little Tune mini pyramid. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Making our way! Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? It's like dreams, you can just teleport there in your mind. Of course not. My paws will get burned. Let's just change our cognition to be close to it. Hey! Yeah! I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. Awesome! You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. Let's roll, baby. The music! This is incredible. Beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, on, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. How are the guys? Wow. Oh my God. It? There we go. <laughs> no way. Wait, there's a full city around it, too. Okay, that's awesome. It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? 
That's all I could do. That was the best I could yeah. do, so quit your yapping. Yeah. For real? You are so half-assed. What was that? You want to fight, punk? <laughs> Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. Oh my gosh. I think her palace would be a pyramid. All right. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Cool. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. Uh. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Yes, the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Whoa, it's so nice inside. Is this place air conditioned or something? Oh, we got all the binary or looks like binary on the walls and stuff. That's cool. And maybe because Futaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh, our clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. What to do? It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. It's probably a puzzle dungeon, you know? These stairs go pretty far. There's way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. You should be happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure awaits. Let's go. Well, time to keep climbing then. Let's go. Focus. Oh. Whoa. Hmm. There's someone there. Oh. Hey, is this? Yeah, I think it's her. That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. No, maybe she doesn't want to talk. Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? <sighs> this is going nowhere. <sighs> Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb. Ooh. Why have you come? I like the voice. She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. Ooh. That's rather defiant sounding. Yeah. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yusuke! Yusuke! <laughs> oh! <laughs> My man's like... I have heard of the deep lore surrounding this Sundere. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Hmm, okay. Creepy child, you killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Oh. Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? Oh. You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come Don't near me! Don't stand there! Say something! Your fault! Murderer! That's, That's right. right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. Oh. Oh, the music! What was that? My mother exists here. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Oh God. She carries her mother with her. Oh, the cognition, yeah. Oh fuck. And now we're enemies, I'm yep. Close. Yep. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? 
Huh? This again. Oh. Mom, I don't deserve to be alive. Oh, this place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die. Don't come near me. Don't just stand there. Say something. Your fault. No. Someone help me. Oh. Fuck. What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. Okay. We should regroup and... What now? Go grab bed, bed, bed. Of course, of course. Indiana Jones, let's go. Oh my God. Ah, that's why. That's why there are two roots. The middle one gets destroyed. Whoa! We're safe. That was too close. Wait! Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more than come back? Oh, good idea. Right. True. Then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. The date that Medjid is set for the alleged Ooh. cleanse is 821. And that's our deadline. That day is fast approaching. That's actually a long time from now, actually. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Okay. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Yeah. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Yep, sounds good. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. Also true. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How Pretty can fun. Enjoying this. This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on. You know. Yeah. I, yeah. On. I know totally that. get that. He's not. He's not lost that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look. You perv. Shut up. It was a great view. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yusuke was like, I was not looking at On. I was clearly looking at Makoto's ass. You guys That's it. Too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. <laughs> even better, Yusuke. Even better. Yep. It ain't what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. Oh, yes, of course. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed. <laughs> am I right? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> Will we be all right like this? Oh, my God. Your hideout has moved from the Shibuya Take You Building access, access Way to the Young and Jaya Cafe Leblanc. Yes, art sexual, yes. Not again. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Oh no! Well, okay. Mom. Oh. Well, all right. Yep, I'm doing this dungeon immediately. Well, that sucked. Is doing this really going to help us do something about Medjid? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Medjid will definitely make a move. Alibaba! I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really do something about Medjid? Of course. 
Unfortunately, we have yet we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. You can do so stuff like take down a server, or show us. Hey, don't start trouble. That's all I would take to convince you. All right, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then. Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why this have to be during summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Kurisbikun, as always, we'll leave this leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. Okay. We have to do this. Yeah, we're invested. Hey, listen up. This is horrible. The fan site is gone. I tried to access the URL, but it says the page doesn't exist. Ah! <laughs> the fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Medjid? No, it's Alibaba. Huh? Who's Alibaba? Anyway, this has to be Medjid's doing. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. There's still time until the cleanse. Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? You think it's a virus? Oh! What is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. I'm going to try and look into it a little bit more, though. See you. Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Easy. She just like, bam, it's done. What a day. Oh my god. We just got the whole game just blown open wide in front of us here. That was truly cringeworthy. 